All right. Well, good morning, sports fans. I'm coming to you live from Chimicum with the uh, Chimicum Elementary School 6th grade eSports club. Right now, I'm using Minecraft Education Edition. My eSports team, I, I polled them to find out who preferred PvP style gameplay using mostly Minecraft Java Edition versus a more teamwork, cooperative, creating building on Minecraft Education Edition. And out of 12 kids that are still active in the esports team, uh, seven of them chose the building cooperatively on Education Edition. So I've got two kids who are the world hosters, meaning they're hosting a world on Minecraft Education Edition. Uh, Ethan here is hosting this world, and Anya's on, as am I. And they've undertaken the Minecraft COVID-19 challenge of building a dream house. Now I also had another esports member, Tristan, who's hosting. And I'll see if I can get into his uh, world later. But I'll tell you, this Minecraft Education Edition, I've been on their tech support uh, for a while now because it's very hit and miss. We're having so many troubles hosting a world. Some join, some can't. Uh, I found out that if I use my iPhone as a hotspot to get much better bandwidth, I can't join any of my students' worlds, and none of them can join my world. Uh, when I'm using just my regular Wi-Fi, which is not as robust as my mobile hotspot, I, uh, it's hit and miss. I can join sometimes. I have to keep trying. And support, Microsoft's Minecraft support has been very helpful, but they even admitted this was made. Minecraft Education Edition to be used in the classroom with all the kids there on the same network. So needless to say, it wasn't meant for this. So they're working, uh, doing what they can to help support teachers and students who are playing remotely during this COVID-19 distance learning uh, time. But here's what Ethan has going. Whoa. I don't know what that is, but it's very cool. I'm gonna see if I can turn the sound down because, holy cow. Ooh, that was very loud. And what's this? Ooh, beautiful cave system. Now, what have we here? Oh, I see some levers. Oh. Let's see if I can... Tr what happens if I... I don't know if anything happened. I don't know if I was supposed to do that. Oh, what's happening there? Woo! Oh, very nice! fireworks. Excellent. So Ethan is uh, skilled at using redstone. Oh, this must shoot off a whole bunch of fireworks, I wonder. I love seeing what kids build. It's amazing. So he's got a lot going on here. I hope others can get on his world, but so far I only see him and Anya. Darn. The other ones must not be able to get on his world. So this is the first of two um, dream house buildings. Yep, there's Anya. And hopefully this one gets developed and we can uh, enter it into the uh, COVID-19 competition. Um, it's going till May 29th. And it's really cool. You can just look up uh, Minecraft COVID-19. And I believe that'll bring up uh, this competition. But let's look around his lovely home he has started 
which he said uh, still needs work, of course. So the rest of the team, if they can get onto this world, they can help finish it up. But yeah, I was telling him this looks like the house of a rich, famous person. Very nice. Yeah, I can see why this is um, something they wanted to do. PvP is fun, but this is just uh, un unlimited, what you can do here. Be creative and just build to your heart's content. Now, I'm not understanding this here. But hopefully, when he's ready to give a tour, he can explain. So once you're done, uh, what you do is you use Flipgrid to record a tour of what you built for the competition. So whoever uh, is going to do it for this world, which might be Ethan since he's the uh, team captain and the host, he would go on Flipgrid and, and give a tour. So I'm hoping this comes to fruition and they put a lot of detail on here. But for now, I'm going to try this is going to be hit or miss going into Tristan's world. Uh, so let's see if I can do that. Let's save and exit here. I got into it successfully once, but <laughs> that doesn't mean it'll work again. So let's find his code. Steve Llama Map Cake. Steve Llama Map Cake cake. Now I'm doing this wrong. Uh, see, Tristan H, this is good. Because Minecraft suggested uh, you join or host a world. That should be the first thing you do when you launch Education Edition. So if this doesn't work, I should have expected it. But I wanted to save time in case it did work. Because it worked once before. So we're using Google Classroom to communicate. Uh, base, yeah, unable to connect. So I'm going to try restarting. Um, basically, uh, Tristan and Ethan will go on, and they say, like today, I'll be on from 9 to 10, 10 to 11, whatever. And then they'll put their join code. And um, the rest of the team will check Google Classroom see who's hosting that day and at what time and what the join code is and then try to join which like I said has been hit or miss uh, we haven't been able to get everyone successfully onto anyone's world so that's been an annoying thing Okay, here we go. Hope this works. Steve Llama Map Cake. Steve Llama Map Cake. All right. It's Tristan's world. Hmm. Doesn't. Oh, it worked. That's like three times in a row in one day. I don't know what that means, but it's exciting. Let's see who's in. All right, so Leland is here. Woohoo! Who else? Now, they wanted to build a kind of a medieval castle type dream home, dream house. Oh, look at that. Brooke is here. Leland is here. And of course, Tristan. Fabulous. And they are working together. This is fantastic. Okay, this doesn't look very castle-like. It looks more rustic. Oh, there's Logan. Oh my goodness. I've never had this many kids on at once and able to build together. This is fantastic. Microsoft will be happy. I'll have to share this success with them. Ooh, looks like they're voting on something. 
I am excited. So there they are. Working together. Cooperating, collaborating, creating all the C's, you know, that we want our kids to be doing in the 21st century in a virtual world from their individual homes. This is mind-boggling. But so exciting, so full of promise. As long as we can all connect. While they're working on that, Tristan says, okay, we have to have three people say yes to something if they want it. Oh, way to go. He's taking charge. He is the captain in this world. Way to step up and practice your leadership skills. I don't know what that is, but uh, it's shaping to be something. Wow, I love this. It's so smooth. The texture is very nice. Well chosen blocks. Oh, what's over there? Oh, that's just mountainside or natural. So this looks like the main build. Ooh, is this a tree house I see here? Oh, whoa, ho, nice. And what is this? Hey, look, another one of those things. I wonder if I should. Whoa. Nice. I don't know what that's for, but I like it. Interesting. I mean, I hesitate to say it, but it looks like a tank. If it is a medieval castle with a tank, uh, I, I don't see it, but okay. But yeah, it's not looking like a castle, so I wonder, maybe they changed their mind. Ah, Wesley joined. Yes! This is shaping up to be fantastic. And there they are, working to get... Ooh, what's that? That's cool, looks like a refrigerator. Looking great, everyone. Do we want to make this place taller, just like this? Let's vote. I'm fine with how it is. All right. Fantastic. All right, so I see that Anya and Ethan are working on their structure slash dream home. And we've got Wesley, Leland, Logan, Brooke, and Tristan working on this dream home. Success. Well, that's all I wanted to uh, see for today. I just wanted to make sure everything was working. Uh, this has been one of the most successful uh, quarantine days we've had with my kids all in their own homes. I got a lot of them on today, and they're working together, so it looks like this uh, challenge is well underway. So with that, this is Gonzalez.